So GoPuff just sent the email stating about this new feature that they're incorporating in the GoPuff app. So tell me you all if it's rolled out in your market or not. I just opened up my app to see exactly what in the world are they talking about. Like I'm sitting here looking like, know before you go, discover real-time facility insights on your home screen. Okay. All right. So you can see wait times. Well, what does that matter? You still can't not select to take an order. Let's see here. Let me try to. Okay, so it's all right, so two to four estimated wait times. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Still don't have any shifts available. That's what I'm talking about. Um, no shifts available. Home screen. Let me see. Does it tell you? Can you select different locations? No, it doesn't tell you. Huh. Well, what does that mean? What's the purpose then? Let's see. Let's go back to it. Y'all let me know if this makes sense to you all. We're not going to look into that. Um, so, can you change the locations to facilities that you want? Because I don't even see the other facilities on here now. Let's see here. Because, you know, you... Okay, there we go. So, okay, so you can see... How long the wait time is at each facility in case you want to... Oh, that one's currently closed. Oh, I wonder, is it closed down for good? Because, y'all, we when I first started doing GoPuff uh, a few years ago, we had, like, maybe three or four, maybe five locations. And now, 2023, you see on my on my app, I only have, what, two. This one done closed. And this was the best um, warehouse to work at because the tips were fantastic. They still only pay, like, $3 a bag. But the tips, you can really make good money. But that this location will always be packed. So now I don't really like the delivery area for this location. And this is the one I normally work. But let me know what y'all think about this. This new um, feature they done rolled out on GoPuff. Are y'all still working, hanging in there working with GoPuff? I can show you what I made last time. I worked GoPuff. Let's go back here. So that's what I made. 13.57 hours. I had 35 deliveries. With um, earnings, you know, how they pay you per delivery, plus tips, I made two fifty five, So that wasn't bad. And I worked Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, and I was able to make that. So not too bad, almost $300. You let me know if you think it was worth it or not. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.